Hello, my name is Michael and I'm a Salesforce enthusiast and I love showing new users how to use Salesforce and maximize its potential. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to upsert data into Salesforce using a popular tool called dataloader.io. Now this is a powerful feature that allows you to update existing records in Salesforce or insert new ones if they don't already exist. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so here we have our Salesforce accounts. In my example, all of my accounts are MBA teams. And what I want to do is upsert the accounts within with their conference and division. So we're going to go over to dataloader.io. It's a website. I already have it up. And we're going to basically link this, uh, our Salesforce instance with dataloader.io. So go ahead and click on login. And probably the first time it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to allow access to do this? And you're going to, of course, say yes. Now, being that we have all of our accounts in here, I think the best practice is to go ahead and export all of your existing accounts with their uh, Salesforce account ID. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So we've got a new task, export. And then we'll select the object account, click on next. And my Salesforce instance, I pretty much only have uh, accounts that I want to update. So we're going to go ahead and click on account ID and account name. I might just be under name. Let me just go ahead and select active. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and click on next. And I have 30 records. Let me just confirm that. Looks like I have 30 over here as well. And let me go ahead and click on save and run. And this is going to run. We only have 30 records. It's a very small amount. So let's go ahead and refresh this. And then we should be able to um, click on this file right here. And let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, so it did give me all of my teams and all of their account IDs that relate to, to the account name. So we want to go ahead and add the fields. I think we have conference. We have division as well. Let me go ahead and update that information. All right. So it looks like we have our conference and division fields in here. And I do have another video to show you how to actually add pick list fields. So you can uh, reference that as well on how to do this. These are going to be all fields that do have a pick list option and uh, they do have to match. So hopefully all of these are spelled correctly. And let's go ahead and save this. Just an important uh, thing is that you do want to make sure that you are saving this as a CSV. You can't, uh, it has to be in that format. All right, so we're going to go to new task again, import. And we want to make sure we select the right one. In this case, we're going to do upsert, okay? Because we already do have existing accounts. We just want to upsert the other fields, such as conference and division. So we'll select the account, click on next. And we're going to go ahead and upload the CSV. Okay, so I went ahead and selected my Excel file. And it's going to look up the account ID, which is great. We have the account name that we already took from the uh, Excel uh, export. Then we have conference and division. This gives you the sample data of what it looks like right now. This is usually like the first data in there, the first row. So we have Boston Celtics. I know that they're in the Eastern Conference and they are in the Atlantic Division. Let's go ahead and click on Next. It's going to ask if you want to go ahead and move forward. You're going to click on save and run. So now this will actually update your Salesforce instance. Again, it's only 30 records. So let's go ahead and refresh it. It's really quick to update. And it says 30 successes. So let's go ahead and test this out inside of our Salesforce instance. So right now we have all these are blank. Let's go ahead and refresh it.
All right. And here you go. All of the conference and divisions have been updated for the uh, accounts that we had. So that's a quick little tutorial on how to do that. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. And I hope this was helpful. Thank you.